issuing that request and many others, slowly things began to trickle in. I decided to use hexagon shapes because I thought I could create something interesting by working a trail of hexagons through a larger piece if I didn't get very many submissions. Kind of like this, maybe. The next issue was how to get the messages to fit in a hexagon because they didn't all work out as beautifully as this one. If someone sent me an actual paper, I wanted to use their handwriting. So I did this. And this. I applied the same idea if someone sent an image. If someone sent me something via email, text, or DM, I just typed it or wrote it and sewed it. I continued to send out requests for material and the number of contributions began to grow. I began to play with compositions with almost no filler. The piece became so colorful because I used paper left over from old projects. When I settled on a composition, I taped it together into segments I could easily work with. Then I sewed it together, switching thread color frequently for fun, and then I joined the segments. Now we have a loosely constructed improvisational collage in which I've stitched together the thoughts and worries and dark tendencies that we'd like to release as we move into the new year. Stay tuned for the next chapter in which I try to let it all go.